All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, can I make this full screen? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, here we are. The sale. Um, this is the Triple I Initiative uh, showcase. They're going to be showing us a lot of indie games, uh, indie game announcements, trailers, gameplay, whatever. Uh, we don't fully know what to expect. Um, and hopefully my audio and everything is okay. I'm streaming from Andrew's PC because mine is still not set up, so <laughs> hence things are a little different. I feel like I'm really... this is such a weird camera angle for me. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, it says 8 minutes, but I feel like it starts in like 5 minutes. So we'll see. We shall see. I think, though, I think Discord figured out that I'm streaming, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, I guess, I guess we're all set. Let's see. Um, oh, I don't know why it doesn't have it like I'm logged into my chat. That's weird. I did say something about they were surprised that none of the trailers got leaked, especially the last one, which is like... What do you mean? What are you saying? What's the last trailer gonna be? So, we'll have to see. This is such a weird setup for me. Um, obviously hoping for some kind of Slay the Spire 2 news. If we got Silk Song news, that would be unbelievable and no one would believe it. Um, I don't know if the dev of Binding of Isaac would have anything in this. I didn't even see him talk about it, so I don't, I don't really know. I know the Darkest Dungeon devs are involved in this. So, we shall see. We got um, apparently five minutes before the starts. Also, I don't know why. Is it like that for your eyes? Oops. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's fine. Who knows, who knows, who knows. I don't even have coffee this morning, this is rough. This is rough. I feel like I'm a sports broadcaster with this headset. Yeah, it says especially the last one, so what's the last trailer? 
I want to know. I feel like I started stream too early, but I was worried they were just gonna like... They had two different timers. They had like a timer that went for like five minutes and I was like, shit, are they starting early? And then they started this timer for like 15 minutes, so... Open the show with a banger, close with a banger? Damn. I can't even like... The thing is, I can't even imagine what kind of games they're gonna announce on this. Cause I feel like so many big dev teams... Well not like big dev teams, but I feel like so many well-known indie developers and indie games are like involved in this that I'm like... What's going on here? What's everybody up to? They said there was gonna be like no BS either. It's just straight up gonna be like banger after banger, like like straight up just get to the point. Which uh <laughs> that would be a first for a showcase. Are they even gonna have a host or is it just gonna like immediately be like a trailer? But you can bet that, um, like, all of the, uh, devs that are involved in this are gonna have their games on sale after this. You're gonna be able to buy, like, Slay the Spire for, like, eight bucks. Okay, one more minute. Just me, so sad for me. Definitely uh, started off. <sighs> Hopefully, my PC will be set up later today, and then. Oh. <laughs> That's a happy. Here we go! Sit down. Oh shit. World premiere.
No way! Deceased. I I have no words. They really did start out like a banger. World premiere. It's like blasphemous, but roguelike? That looks cool. This is by uh, the people that made the detective game. This city's got it all. Bartenders, debt collectors, doctors, yeah. waiters, enforcers, killers. Damn. Now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. Yes. All I gotta do is find them before they kill again. Yes. New update, let's go. Oh wow, and they're releasing it on console. Sharpshooter Assassin update is available now. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Time it's in. Uh oh. We didn't think the Viking raids would get any worse. The days are coming. <laughs> Sucks to be that guy. You, a lord of England, must tame the land, establish a thriving village, and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortifications and build a mighty castle. Train your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. Okay. For our enemies have harnessed an ancient terror. In this world of steel and scale, only the bravest leaders, the ones who can defend. That looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. The ones who can raise an army. <laughs> the ones who can fight together. Like, I want to fight dragons. Will be known as Dino Lords. <laughs> Wishlist now. <laughs> uh, 
That's just really <laughs> the dinosaur face. Oh, let's go. I played the demo of this. This is so good. Did they finally have a release date? If the last trailer really was Silk Song, I think I would die. It must be like a release trailer, a release date. definitely playing that. Like, if not on stream. Hold on to your butts. Cool now. Vampire survivors on PlayStation. Vampire survivors is coming to PlayStation. Finally. The game people have described as the most fun I've ever had with one hand. You can play as a dog. There are <gasps> no vampires in this game. You'll get the right build and just delete a whole screen of enemies. The garlic looks like balls. Wow. Vampire Survivors is coming to PlayStation. Wait, Vampire Survivors, but co-op? Vampire Survivors, but, but you're on a motorcycle? I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty cool. Operation Guns! That looks cool. I wanna shoot stuff. It's a puppy. Mm, maybe not a puppy. It's a wolf. Big, big wolf, actually. Huge. Wolf with gun. Also featuring Brad Fang from who? From where? Who? Who's Brad? My name is Eric Hillman, and I am the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. Aww. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to, to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome cool. and <laughs> something epic and kind of like you were up against a real challenge. That looks cool. I'm most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much. That we haven't really seen that much in video games yet. No. World premiere. Oh, it's a humble bundle game. It's a sad, sad game. Oh. 
Yeah, this needs to be like set. <laughs> Just straight up. It's gonna be weird, but it's gonna be sad. Uh, Never Alone 2. Oh, I never played the first one. not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the Perlas, their infinite power? Maybe. The horrors were born, and uh, that day, is... the cataclysm began. We sought refuge on the peak. I don't usually play these kind of games, but this looks kind of cool. Then, one night, Instead of fear, came hope. Oh? She bent the perilous to her will. With her we stood... Unbreakable. I... I couldn't read the title fast enough. Take our hourglass, hero. Collect your bearings and focus your mind. Oh, this seems familiar. And enter Death's Realm once again. Vampire survivors? <laughs> Just kidding. Do you really think you can kill Death, though? We don't have a strength for him. <laughs> this is very Hades-esque. What kind of legend would it be that has fire and mayhem? Huh. I don't know. Allow me to interfere as God. I want to see Death's heart encased in a prison of ice. I don't know what came this is. Death must die. <laughs> Again, hero. Oh, it's literally this gone. is not your end. Act two. When was act one? My dumb for not knowing. Was this one of those uh, destruction games? When Earth turns against you. Maybe not. Survival. It's all that matters. We are pioneers of our time. Ah, uh, so it's like a city builder thing. We live to expand. I mean, that might be... I, I probably will play something like this, but I could see it being... We live to rebuild. Fun. Hello, how's it going, Wendy? Hello, Grateful, how are you? I'm sorry if I am late to seeing your chat. I'm using Andrew's computer, so I'm not used to looking this way and then having to look over oh, there for chat. Survive. <laughs> it's really throwing me for a loop. End zone 2. Is it bad that I didn't know that there was a first end zone? A lot of, uh, well, I was gonna say a lot of city, like, building games, but this seems like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's so cute. Explosion. I can't read that fast. Yeah, I realize I never stream this early in the day, so... We'll be 
coming in the future so team. Premier. Okay. Ooh, did we get a DLC for Undermine? Or whatever it's called? I actually have this game. Oh shit, we got co-op, let's go. They're just gonna add co-op to everything. Looks like they added some new enemies as well. Hmm, can I convince my boyfriend to buy this game? This would be a fun game to do co-op. I don't understand the bomb part, but that's okay. Oh no, it's a sequel? What? I didn't expect them to come out with a sequel, okay. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's like RimWorld, but... Is it Rim? Is it made by the people that make RimWorld or not? RimWorld, but make it medieval. <laughs> Norland. I mean, we all know how much I loved RimWorld, so... Just like... It's a bird! It's a ball! It's a chef! It's oh, this is that golf game! Guy. They thought of everything. It's a demo. It's a demo. It's Let's go. We can play the demo. Let's have a break and try to keep you on our hype train until the end. Oh shit. I gotta answer the door every now and then. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, Darkest Dungeon? The light of victory casts a long no, shadow. No, they just came out with Darkest Dungeon 2. And in that nighted gloom, oh, the your fragile triumph is under siege. Decency must be defended. Darkest Dungeon 3? Righteousness <laughs> reinforced. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. This squalid kingdom, these corrupted lands. Oh. They are yours now. And you are oh. bound to them. Free update, let's go. Hello, I'm Anuar Noriega, CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. 
Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti. The doorbell's gone off like five times in four minutes. All new beauty. applications Sakura. and people, babies. This is the oh first no. project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also minutes. included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Now, here's the first look. World Premiere. They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. To resist. Oh, this looks cool. To get our voices back. <coughs> He's with Daku Gaki. Huh. My app is acting up again. I'll catch you later. No problem, grateful. Have a good rest of your day at work. The mobile app is always the worst, I swear. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. Oh. To survive, you'll have to make tough choices guided by the moral compass, an all-new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo, a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew. And discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. Hmm. Broken Roads is available oh, now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. <gasps> The heroes of the Raven Wake up, honey. Are our New robe like just dropped. These evils. Come to me, friends. That's not enough to kill me. Raven's watch. Heed my call. I am Morgan. For Avalon. And return my dear brother to his eternal rest. Oh. I fear a darker menace lurks deep within the shadows. Oh, that's cool. I don't I don't actually have that game. <gasps> no, I don't think it's what I think that it is. Unless no it's not. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Definitely not what I thought it was. <laughs> well, that escalated. Three. Oh hell yes! So excited for this game.
Summer 2024? I'll take it. That's really dope as hell. Oh! This is another game I still haven't gotten around to playing. New map? Let's go. And a free update. Here's your uh, city builder game. Oh. Lysara? Lysara? trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's <laughs> onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Hmm, lightning. Gets me all tingly inside. Welcome to Deadsville. Population, her. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a time-honored tradition. Incredible. The best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. A legend. Oh. I don't know how I feel about the art style of that one, though. This is so meta. Update, let's go. And a new map?
Streets of Rogue 2 is a high-octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever and evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country, either solo or with friends via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak, or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. <laughs> Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique, weird traits. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker, and many more. Be sneaky, or go guns blazing, or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats, mm -hmm. check. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena, uh, necronomicon, uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes, Jeez. bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. Explore this lively world, engage with its quirky inhabitants, and write your own story. Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam Early Access later this year. Add the game to your wish list. The freight boom. Cow. Hello, Gummy. How are you? Sorry if I was delayed seeing your chat. I'm using Andrew's setup, so I'm not used to having to look over to the right side to see chat. It's usually on my left side. <laughs> doing well are you? I'm doing good so far. I can't complain. Oh, Pal World update. Pal World Arena. What? Into the city of woe. Okay. <laughs> In darkness. Thirty-three souls join together. Thirty-three gather courage. Against his law, we fell. Fell beasts overwhelm you. Unite. It's like a castle your thing. defenses. Flee his fierce fire. Mend your wounds Torture and chain. press on. Also appears to be co-op. The fiends seek to consume you. The fallen may yet be saved. And the actions of the valiant are rewarded in relics eternal. Great is the wrath of God. And the mm. second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills. Oh, I feel like this is that one game. Vanity. Make haste to the gate and quickly rejoin the fray. Can't think of what it's called. Thirty-three sinners. Thirty-three, 33 immortals. Doomed. Mark my words. Only through pain and sacrifice will 33 souls become 33 immortals. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know. Close beta, though.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. In a brave new world, anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike tea with its special secret ingredient. Kids, remember your five a day. What the fuck? Oh shit. Is my main question. That really the question I'd like to start out with is why. Oh, I'm intrigued. What what is this though? Castlevania Life Simulator? Hell yeah! Let's go. <laughs> Hi Draco, sorry I looked over at chat. <laughs> you just play as like, uh, what's his face? I know, I'm sorry. I'm very confused about what this game is. You just go around being a badass? Sag, the worst. Oh shit, and you can transform? I will show you the might of the house Belmont. Oh yeah, it's totally Castlevania. I knew Face it. Me. Say less. That game Castlevania vibes gave Castlevania. Wait, is it? Yeah, it definitely is. Some kind of Castlevania game. Face the fury of the That's Alucard? Oh! Huh? Okay, you can just fight Belmont? I'm very confused. But like, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> World premiere. You can be? Hmm. I'm confused. Not the Castlevania I hoped for. Yeah, I, I don't know how to feel about that now. I didn't know it was... I would have never guessed to be rising. Cry job. guy's kind of a badass. Ah, she's fine. Prince of Persia? <laughs> Bullshit that he didn't get hit by any of these arrows. Oh, there you go. He definitely did. Princess of Persia? Oh no, you were right. The Rogue. Hmm. Interesting. May 14th. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting.
The Mickey Mouse game was really weird to me. I guess they were like, well... They're probably gonna show their last trailer and then that'll be that. The wall parkour kind of gave it away. Yeah, you called that. Gotta have my wall parkour. Don't go anywhere, we're coming back in a few seconds with exclusive gameplay and live streams on stream and Twitch. Was that the end of the thingies though? I don't know if that was the end of their announcements though. Probably was. That was crazy. The last trailer was kind of like, I mean, I'm not hyped. Uh, I don't know, maybe other people were. <laughs> Using a headset mic for now? Well, I have to use Andrew's setup because uh, right now my PC is not set up. Uh, so we had to improvise. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there. Uh, I had to improvise, but hopefully, hopefully my PC will be set up later today or tomorrow maybe um and then i can like go back to doing normal things that's why i'm set up on his computer not mine which is very uh weird to say the least okay i think that was the end of like their actual like uh announcements and shit so uh that was really good L last couple trailers were weird <laughs> But they announced Slay the Spire too, so let's go. Uh, you know, I don't know. Do I have the camera set up on my end credits though? Oh, I do. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of the stream. Thank you to everybody for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I never stream at this time, so this was interesting, and I streamed from. Andrew's computer, which I also have never done, which made it extra interesting, so. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Have a good rest of your day, Draco. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. And, um, yeah, hopefully my computer will be set up so I can stream on my computer later this week, but we shall, we shall see. Um, but that's it for me for now. Bye, guys.